Hey, what's up guys, it's Darkroom Duels, and today I'm going to be opening up, I know that's really clustered looking, but today I'm going to be opening up a collection that I bought from for $50 at a MJ's Discount Warehouse. Now, I really quickly want to give out a shout out to my friend over there at MJ's Discount Warehouse, Whitney. She actually hooked me up with this collection. Um, she keeps an eye out for cards for me whenever it comes in. They kind of get cards in occasionally. This is like... I don't know how they got this, but it's like an entire collection, and all three boxes are actually full of cards. But uh, I just really quickly wanted to give a shout out to her. You know, I really appreciate you keeping an eye out for these. You know, I really value our friendship, and uh, thank you very much for hooking me up with these cards. Thank you so much. Uh, I look forward to opening these up and seeing if I can get anything really good out of these. But regardless, you know, it's just a lot of fun to open up these cards and show you guys what I'm doing. So, uh, before we get into this, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell down there so you can get a part of the notification squad, and let's give Whitney a couple of likes, too. Thank you very much. So, let's get into this and see what we can find. So, I kind of peeked a little bit in the Kaiba collection box, and it looked like there was some Kaiba collection cards in there. Go figure. But I haven't really looked at any of these other ones. Um, but it looks like we've got some newer stuff, which is kind of cool. We've got some stuff from Maximum Crisis. And we've got some stuff. This is actually tape shut. The tin is just destroyed. It looked like it got crushed somehow. Um, which isn't that big of a deal. But it's actually got packing tape to keep it sealed. Um, but I have no idea what's in here. And we're, guys, we're just going to do something fun today. We're just going to kind of sort through it and see what we can find. Um, so let's see. So I've gotten some more Phantasm Spiral stuff. Uh, we got some artifacts, Phantasm Spirals. There, that's a good sign. We've got some uh, Cyber Dragon stuff. Oh, we got some Hollows too. Oh, hey, uh, Lila, Twilight Sworn Enchantress, Wolf, Garroth. I'm actually gonna pull the Hollows out. Let me pull those out. There's nothing in this sleeve right here. Like this actually looks like it was somebody's like collection or something. Uh, Flower Cardian Light Shower. Let me get it to focus really quick. There we go. Flower Cardian Light Shower. Uh, Solar Recharge. Uh, Celestia Light Sworn Angels. I'll play a set of those. That's pretty cool. Um, maybe we get a Light Sworn in, or Light Sworn uh, deck going on. I got a Zephyr of Providence Pendulum uh, Shift Switch. Some rare cards right there. From uh, Maximum Crisis. I mean, that's that's a pretty good sign so far. I'm seeing a bunch of solar recharges and stuff. I'm seeing a couple of cards and sleeves down here. Maybe that's a deck. Uh, oh, hey, we got some Shirinui Solitaires. Hey, that's pretty good. That's actually really good. Like, Shirinui Solitaires. And another solar recharge. Some more weird stuff. I mean, this is just, this is just really cool. We got some Extreme Force stuff, too, in here. So maybe we'll pull something, like, kind of crazy. The stuff that was in it, I see a hollow back there, but I don't know what it is. Let me turn these over really quick. So this is gonna be this is gonna be a little different of a video. So we're just gonna kind of have to bear with it. This might be a long video. So uh, goddess bow, time magic hammer. I actually let's see, dystopia. That's pretty good. Got a dystopia. I have no idea what's in this, by the way. Like I have no idea. Like this was just something that I was at a. Um, wild game cook-off for culinary school and while i was at the wild game cook-off i called my mom and she was like hey whitney's got some cards for you over at mj's um she actually found some and i was like oh that's pretty cool can you get them for me while i'm at this cooking competition and she was like yeah i'll get them for you and so i got home and i figured i'd make a quick video about it and see what i could find so I'm just going to kind of like flip through the commons. we got a Goki rematch. The hollows I'll read out and tell you, oh hey, we got that hollow. The thing that I'm kind of looking for is out of that legendary dragons decks box. And I'm trying to see if we get like, oh, there's some rares. I'm going to see if we can get like, I don't know. Um, there's a Lila. See if we can get like a apprentice illusion magician or something like that. Like something really like cool. Butterfly yoke. Uh, that's, let's throw that over there. I like that spellbook card, too. Some Battles of Legend stuff, too. That's kind of neat. Let me turn that over really quick so you guys can see it. So, let me focus that right there. So, we're just kind of... It's kind of weird, like, finding someone's collection at a warehouse. I guess they just didn't want it anymore. And they just got rid of it. 
Oh, we got some uh, Pendulum Evolution stuff right here. Uh, Scout, and we got a Rescue Hamster. That's pretty cool. I'll probably give that to Savannah. She'll really like the Rescue Hamster. So, I see a Link card back there. Uh-oh. It's a Link 3, whatever it is. Let's see. So, we got a Flower Guardian, Ring Instruction, Underclock Taker. That's pretty cool. Uh, Devil Thing. Whatever that is. I've never seen it play. Oh, we got a Necros of Gunyear. No way. And that's... Oh, that's from uh, Secrets of Eternity, dude. Oh, my God. Could you imagine if I pulled, like, a full Necros core out of this? <laughs> oh, my God. I would lose it. Oh, I would lose it if I pulled a Necros core out of this. Okay. Let's see what we can get out of here. Okay, we're pulling into, like... Apparently, somebody, like, really liked Quarly Arc. Because, like, it's double-sleeved in a Zelda sleeve. So, that's pretty cool. Whoever this person was and whoever had this before me, like, they had a they had a pretty good collection. Like, that's pretty neat. Got some random Maximum Crisis hollows. This is, I, I feel like this video is going to get messy really quick. Like, just cards going everywhere. God, we got a lot of Stranger Falcon, or, yeah, Stranger Falcons out of there. That was a lot of them. Um, BS. I got so many BSs now. Oh, we got an Adoration. That's pretty cool. We've got the Shirinui Samurai, the Common, in a sleeve, but we don't have Adoration in a sleeve. Whatever. Okay, let me clean up this stack really quick. We're. I mean, I'm surprised. We actually got some hollows out of here. Like, that's that's pretty good. That's a good sign that all the hollows were not completely ripped out of them. I don't know what that's going to be. Maybe they had a Shiranui deck or something like a zombie deck. We'll find out real quick in a second. So, Curtain Razor. That's going to be pretty good when I get the White Dragon Abyss stuff. Uh, that's pretty good. Some random Maximum Crisis stuff. Maybe we can get an Ash Blossom or something out of here. That'd be nuts. That'd be crazy if we just like flip through there and be like, boom, Ash Blossom. Secret Rare Ash Blossom. We just instantly made our money back on this collection. Oh, Mirror Force. That's a legendary, Yugi's legendary deck. Oh, I'll put that over there in the hollows. Why don't I do that? Anyways, yeah, Yugi's legendary deck, Mirror Force. That's not bad. So. Oh, we got a Trish. Oh, that's cool. So, this hasn't really been picked through, because, like, there was a Trishula right there. That's really cool. I mean, they're not that expensive. Like, they're, like, three or four dollars, but three or four dollars is three or four dollars, guys. You know, especially when you're buying a collection like this, and you see stuff like that in there, and you're like, oh, I'll buy your whole collection from you. That's some Cyber Beacons, by the way. So, a Trickstar Likers. <laughs> Soon to be hit on the list, hopefully. So... Just some more random stuff. Skullmeister. Maybe we'll pull a Solemn Strike out of there. Because, like, if we found so Skullmeister, maybe there'll be, like, Solemn, Super Rare Solemn in here. So, maybe. Vendred stuff. I see some Vendred stuff. This is, like, a deck right there. Like, that's actually, like, a legit deck. Maybe there'll be something really crazy in that deck. We're going to save that for in a minute. Let's, let's flip through these really quick. And I actually got a... Yeah, I know you guys have been looking at that. Somebody like Hershey Kisses. Let me get that out of there. That's just an Effect Veiler. Or not Effect Veiler, but whatever it is. A Battle Vader. And this is actually just some more commons. That's actually everything in that box. So let me slide that box to the side so we can kind of keep going. I'm going to save this. We're going to go through that in just a minute. And I'm going to flip through this, um, this right here. So... I'm going to do a really quick run through of this. Pull that out. Let's see what we can find. Let's see if we can find something really good. Maybe we can. Oh, rescue, emerging emergency rescue. Oh, I got a dynamite. Hey, hello. Dynamite Knight, the true Draco fighter. I mean, they're only like 80 cents right now, I think. But if they ever could like come off the list and actually do something, they might go up. Vendrid. Uh, that is a Yugo Golem. 
That's another Yugi's Legendary deck, Smear Force, so maybe there's more than one thing. Oh, I found his Crawler deck. I found his Crawler deck. That's what this is. I bet you, I bet you that's what this is right here. Yep. Yep. It's a Crawler deck. Oh, this is a good fact. Got a whole Crawler deck. There's an entire Crawler core in here. That is a screwed up... Oh, my God. Oh, poor Raiko. Oh. Oh, rest in pepperoni, Raiko. Oh, God, I'm, I'm glad it was Raiko and not like a Soryuja or something. Like, oh, my God. That would have been bad. Oh, that would have been bad. I'm actually glad I got these sleeves. Like, those orange sleeves are not bad. Like, a pack of sleeves is like, I don't know, a couple of bucks. Like, three bucks for a pack of sleeves. Like, that'll cover a full deck. Let me pull that Swords of Concealing. That's decent. Pot of Duality's Eyed. Oh, hey, he had a sub -tier. I'm actually going to be building a sub soon, so that's not bad. Pull that out. That's actually pretty nice that I got all that. Okay, so that's our first part of the opening. So let's get into the next box really quick. Let me pull these aside. That wasn't bad. Like, this is a rares we pulled out of there. We pulled out a decent amount of rares right there. And I mean, this, this was our hollow stack, so we did pretty good, I think. That poor, that poor Raiko, though. Oh, man. That poor Raiko. He did not deserve that. Okay, so let's pop into this so far. Because I have kind of peeked in here. There's not so many cards in here. But it looks promising. Okay, let me just grab a bunch of these. That's interesting. It's pretty cool. That's actually glued onto that. Let me get that out of the way. I don't want to grab this and like grab something crazy and be like, oh my god! Oh, everything just went off the desk. Hold up, let me put it back on there. Right, hold on. I'm trying to get all these out of the box so I can get rid of the box. There's some rescue rabbits. Okay. We got everything out of that box. So, now we can begin sorting. So we got some weird, like, just, that came from a starter deck. Some sort of starter deck. Please have three rescue rabbits. Two. I found two so far. Maybe we can find another super. Oh, a glow-up bulb. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's not bad. That's a good staple. Oh, third rescue rabbit. Hey, we got three. Three for three. And a soul charge. Let's see what else we can find. Come on. Come on, give me something good. Give me something really good. I think I saw a blue eyes shining secret rare. That was pretty cool. That's a rare. Put it over there with the rest in pepperoni Raiko. Okay. Just got a big old stack of commons over there. Separate Providence. Mythical Beast. I'm actually gonna build Mythical Beast soon too. I'll throw that. Whoever it was was a brunette because I just found one of their hairs. That kind of just fell everywhere. Let me get that out of the way. I'll keep going. Keep sorting. Okay. So, we got some Pendulum Evolution stuff right there. Get rid of that. These are just a bunch of sleeves, nothing in there. Pen Premature Reborn. Power card. Dave and Buster's. Well, that was not in where in my state because we don't. I don't think we have any in Alabama. Any Dave and Buster's, uh, Timebreaker Magician, Porn Pal, um, Pendulum Sorcerer, uh, that the King of D. Oh, we're gonna have some stuff in there. We're gonna have some stuff from actually the Legendary Collection of Kaiba. We're actually gonna get Kaiba stuff. I am a little taken aback. I am a little taken aback. Let me get another good old stack going. I'll kind of flip through that. Oh, there it is. There's our blue eyes shining. That's pretty. There's another one. We got a Lagia too. And a pot, or that's the Monarch Storm Forth. Okay. Nothing too crazy right there, but we got a blue eyes shining seeker. That's pretty. That's really pretty, actually. That's a gorgeous secret rare. That's like on par with the um, other one that they have, the retro pack one. 
Like, I think this is the only other time it's been printed in secret. Monarch Stormforth, first stream, Wavering Eyes and Secret Rare, Super Rare. Uh, guitar Lit and other Wavering Eyes. Maybe we can get, like, a play set of Super Rare Wavering Eyes. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, Jester Coffee. Let's see what else we got over here. I really enjoy doing these kind of videos, guys, because, like, I, I, I like showing you guys what I can find. So, uh, Ring of Destruction, Soul Exchange, Funky Comedian, uh, Shrewdy Card. There's a bunch of sleeves. We got some My Little Pony sleeves. So, NM for Near Mint. That's kind of weird. In a collection like this, you find something that says Near Mint. So, uh, Time Star, or Time Star Magician. That's interesting. Uh, da, 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 a bunch of commons. Fright for Wolf. Okay. Uh, Overtex, um, Flame Beast of Necroz, Superstar, oh, we're getting into like a bunch of hollows right there, that's pretty cool, let's see, Gold Sark, that's pretty good, I saw that, uh, Goddess of Sweet Revenge, another Necroz of Gunnir, somebody like Gunnir, and a Prime Banshee, so we got some newer stuff, some newer Ultras and stuff. Gonna kind of stick these off to the side in a big stack. Let's pull these in so we can kind of flip through those. There's a Deco Talker Ultra Rare, pretty cool from the original like deck when Link mechanic. I think this is just somebody like they couldn't handle the Link mechanic and they just kind of like gave up on it. Okay, so we got V Tiger Jet, Fiend Sanctuary, Cost Down, Fairy Tale Luna, Deco Talker. World Legacy, oh, we're getting into some, like, Kaiba stuff. World Legacy Secrets, that, that, Spectral Sword, I saw Fire Attribute, and I got really excited. No Ash, no Ash, no Droll, no Hand Traps, so that's not, it's not great, not bad. I'm, I mean, this was definitely worth 50 bucks. Th this collection was definitely worth 50 bucks. I think it was worth more, eh, maybe not, but for a mixed lot, it's not bad. It's really not bad, like... For the weird stuff we're finding in here, like, there's pretty good staples in here from what we're finding. There's a Wavering Eyes. I'm not going to pull that side. That's actually glued together with something. Oh, God, what is it? Oh, 100 foot horror. Whatever. That's not That's not a big deal. Um, Noriato. There's a Gates. Tuning Magicians. Uh, all the Legendary Dragons. Breakthrough Skill. Uh, those three ultras right there. That's not bad. Not bad. Let me set this to the side. Okay, so we have one box left. We have, can we hit gold in this Yugi box? So this feels really full, and I don't even know where to start. Alright, let's just start here in this corner. Okay, so we got that right there. Let me pull this to the side a little bit. And we'll see what we can find. Okay. So we're going to go through these pretty quick because they're just commons. going to pull out the rares as we go. See what we can find. Maybe we can find something really cool. Maybe we won't. But regardless, all these cards. There's a fright for a tiger. There's a set of ritual beast stuff. Uh, let's grab from right here next. I see fusion stuff in there. Just to tell you guys. Like... That might be good and promising. Uh, this guy really liked crawlers. Like, I'm telling you. Like, quarley arcs after quarley arcs. Doomstar. Got another Doomstar. Got those. Hypnosister. Lector Pendulum. Let's see. S0, because I don't have 40 of those. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Uh, let's see. What we can find? What can we find? Hit a gold, hit a gold. This is, like, this is, like, my thing. Like, I love doing stuff like this where you just find, like, weird collections and you buy it and it's like, oh, what's in there? Like, I love doing that. I absolutely love doing this sort of thing. Because you just, like, you never know if you're going to hit gold or not. Like, you never know if you're just going to, like, find something ridiculous. There's the other part of the Ryko right there. I found his body. There's the Odd Eyes right there so you just never know what you're gonna find in collections like this this guy really liked crawlers though like oh my god there is crawlers 
four days in this box. Crawlers for days. Here's some Pendulum Evolution stuff. I haven't seen any of the Ultra Rare Pendulum stuff, I don't think. So, we just hit the 20 minute mark too. So, I'm going to try and speed her up, guys. See if I can get into these a little faster. We don't have much more to go through. So, we have about a half a box left, but we're, we're going at a good rate. We're going at a good rate. There's a chronograph. That's actually interesting. Return of the Duel's Alchemic Magician. So, see, you find some weird stuff like that. There's a Vanities. There's a Forbidden Lance. That's pretty good. I got Pot of Dualities all over the place. Phantasm Spirals. I have actually like five or six cores of Phantasm Spirals. The deck is just like really, really cool. Um, these are more Pendulum Evolution things. More Pendulum Evolution stuff. That's pretty cool. It's got like Pendulum Evolutions and more Pendulum Evolutions. So, that was like a whole trove of hollows right there, though. I see an Abyss Dweller in there, too. So, if we can hit like one good Necroz card, I'd lose it. Oh, Sea Monster. Hey, he bought Mega. Like, I mean, no, no, he bought the Megatons, but like, maybe we'll find some other Megaton stuff in here. Because I saw that. So, that means. Oh, Chalkanine. Hey, that's pretty cool. Oh, well, there was a Necroz card, but it's not what I wanted <laughs> for a Necroz card. It's bent. And that was actually an A Assault Core. He just got limited to one. Revenged Slayer. A sight. LOB stuff. What? LOB. You guys saw that. I saw that. I got that on recording. Duelist Pack Battle City. This is weird. Like, this collection is, like, all over the place. Like, usually when you buy a collection, you kind of know what they bought and what to expect and what not to expect. But this whole collection, like, I cannot predict because it's, like, Maximum Crisis, LOB, like, Legendary Collection Kaiba. Like, it, it's weird. Like, it's all over the place. Like, there's some, like, new stuff. There's some, like, old stuff. There's, like, like, you may flip a card and it might be something, like, completely different than what you've been pulling from you know like i can be pulling pendulum evolution and then all of a sudden i go to mega pack like that's just weird to me like really weird there's a phantasmal dragon from mega pack 2014 there's a rescue rabbit too cyber or uh, cyber end dragon like that makes sense the cyber end dragon makes sense because it's from the legendary dragon decks and I have a box for that. There's a Yugi's World King of the Swamp. Like, that's pretty cool. Like, I think this box has been the hit box. Like, I'm serious. Like, there's another King of the Swamps. Can I pull a playset, please? Can I have that? That's from Dark Revelations 2. Like, this is weird. Like, I'm hitting, like, hollow after hollow on this box. Like, this is great. This is great. There's another gold rare uh, breakthrough skill. Oh my god. There's a Vanities Fiend. Holy crap. Like, we're hitting it now. We are hitting it. It only took us 20 minutes to start hitting it, but we hit it. I mean, we're pulling dollar card after dollar card after dollar card now. Like, it's for real. Eradicator. Or, that's not Eradicator. Excuse me, that's a, a Supreme Dragon. What am I saying Eradicator for? That's weird. Let me get up there. So, you guys can see better. I'm still surprised she's not banned. Link Slayer. Like, I gave up on the stack thing. Arch Fiends. Like, Blar stuff. Oh my god. Just stuff. Just weird stuff. Just keep going, man. I thought it wasn't that nice continuous strap. Let's see if we can find something else. Come on. Hit gold. Hit gold, man. Search for the gold. Okay. We're about halfway through the box. I'm surprised I haven't seen an Apprentice Illusion Magician. That's kind of weird. Okay, so I'm going to take all these out of the box and show you guys how much more we have. We've got about that much more to go through. And there's a Mirror Force. So, let's, uh, let's see what we can find here. Pull that up a little bit. There we go. Block Dragon, that's pretty good. More Stranger Falcons. 
Like, I don't know why every time I buy, like, a collection, it always has Maximum Crisis stuff in it. Like, every time. I think it's because it was, like, everybody was trying to buy it up because of Ash Blossom. And, like, oh, there's a Terror Tops. Uh, that's a uh, Star Pack 17 Terror Top. That's pretty cool. That's a Gold Series 2 Necro Gardener? What? That's weird, man. Like, that that was a weird one for this. That's probably the weirdest pull out of here. Like, a gold series card out of all this? What? Okay. Let's keep, let's keep looking. Let's see what else we can find. Because we're almost there. This is really weird. Like, this is probably one of the weirdest collections I've ever, like gotten my hands on and I've gotten a hold of quite a few collections like this like I, I bought a card shop out of all their commons one time and I mean they had a couple of cards that were in there like a tune blue eyes secret air from MRL and stuff like that like there was some weird stuff in there but like nothing of this level like there's a super rare back there I think it's a supreme king gate yep right there but we got our hollows worth out of this we totally got our... There's a Klee Fort Genius. Okay. There is a Klee Fort Genius. Cracking Dragon. Okay, this is the last stack right here, guys. Let's make it count. Let's make it count. Okay. So, let's see. Let's see if we can find anything. That's Solar Recharge. There's nothing in those other protectors. I can feel it as they go past because I've done this for so long. I mean, everybody can. There's a Tomborg. There's Light Flare. There's Edder. I like, I have a stack of stuff. Like, a stack. Like, I've noticed, like, the... Some of the other stuff. Like, I think that Trish was a really good pool. But, like, this is weird. Rom Clouder. Alright, so that was it. Man, that was something else. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed showing that to you guys. I thought that was pretty interesting. Do I think it was worth 50 bucks? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, with all the staples that are in there, like, this is the hollows that we got. There's a bigger stack back here and another, like, stack right here that we went through. I think I went through that. Yeah, that's got... Yeah, that's... I went through that. So, like, all of this is, like, either rare or better. Or a good staple. So, anyways, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I think we did pretty good. I think uh, I think Miss Whitney had a really good eye. <laughs> I think my mom was really nice for buying this while I was at a co cooking competition for me. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell down there so you can become a part of the notification squad. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you around, guys. Tell me how you think I did.